Hey, it's me, Sci7. Welcome to part 34 of my Library of Verona walkthrough. We're right into the abnormality battle against Punishing Bird. Everybody had to tighten up whenever it fluttered out of containment. Yeah, we even placed bets on who'd be taking the pecs. We used to joke about whoever got pecked by the bird being the bad guy, yeah. So a little, little bottom incorporation reference. How this thing would just peck you and if you tried to attack it, it would explode. So the same thing here. You don't want to clash against it or it gains plus 50% power. Or you don't want to clash offensive dice. You could use defensive dice. If you had something like maybe a smoking pipe or whatever be pretty good and if punishing bird does take damage then it uses punishment against the character that attacked it last and this is what we want to do we want to clash punishment against the forest keepers lock which we get from killing these guys so we just have to let this thing kind of beat us while we try to take these guys down. Okay, so we really don't want an effect like this to hit us. 48, break all dice on target's page and stagger the target. And I have a bonus to slash power, so that gives me the best winning chance here. I also don't want to take the bind and paralysis either. Unfortunately, you won't be getting a ton of damage out this turn. But we'll be setting up for the next turn. Okay, well, do those hit anyways. At least we won that clash, that's the biggest one. Oh my gosh, please stop. So now we have two of them to clash with. Oh wow, she got staggered. Yeah, using a uh, block dice or block counter dice is pretty good here. Okay, almost staggered. More damage than I want to see on her. This is kind of rough. They're all attacking. <laughs> I want the target. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should be able to get a stagger on this one though.
This is kind of a rough fight so far. Okay, we got blade unlocked though. Okay, taking one sided hit sucks. Can get a kill here though. Now can I stagger this without having to clash here? Sucks. I think we're gonna lose Yuri. And if that's the case, it would actually benefit me more to just take every clash that I possibly can. Alright, let's see how this works. Okay, we did get the stagger without needing to clash, though. I hope I helped. Yep, okay, something awful happens if someone hits it. Which I can now do. Because we've got the, the lock. So I'll try to dodge attacks there. And we'll grab the kill here. And pick up this stagger. Maybe she <laughs> has no white. What? Yeah, that should get the kill. Okay, I guess I'll have to redirect it. Alright. Oh, I hit it. Now it's gonna be pissed. It looks even smaller when it's in a cage. Look at that punishment time. As you can see, this is 99 to 99. But easily won that clash. And then let's see. He's got the... Or is it Dorka? Dorka's got the other Keeper's Lock. So I can go ahead and... Hit Punishing Bird here. And hopefully I can also get the Stagger this turn. Oh yeah, easy. 
easily done. And pick up the last lock. Yep, something awful happens if someone hits it. As you can see, the chain above the cage bro. Dodge. There's like a little lock breaking effect on Punishing Bird. Omega Dodge. Yeah, get back in your cage, you son of a. Here's new books for you. Are you gotten used to carrying the abnormalities on your back as you fight? This wielding them as I like has been working pretty well so far, I guess. Must have a natural aptitude for it. Eh, it's not a matter of aptitude or anything. I'm just doing it because I gotta. If you truly do have an aptitude, you may be able to manifest your own ego next. That means I could also undergo the distortion and become an abnormality? That is correct. Honestly, I don't care if I turn into a monster or whatever at this point. I don't think it really matters anymore. Our words suggest that you have let go of many things. I was robbed of them against my will, more like. I got cut up caught up in events I couldn't even understand and lost everything I had. Do you believe the city is responsible for it? You appear to be under the impression that the city stole your ordinary and humble happiness. Yep, I am. Or maybe I just accepted that there's nothing I can do about it and gave up. This world just won't let me have anything I want. It always finds a way to make me suffer for it. Have you never inflicted pain upon others or taken anything from them then? Of course I have. But that's... That's that and this is this. I see you're resorting to your favored justification. Does it hold true, however? Do you think that the boundaries between what concerns you or not could be defined so conveniently? Well, obviously, the pain I suffered is mine to care, and the pain others suffers is their own business. Such a carefree statement you are making. You know better than anyone, yet you refuse to face it more adamantly than most others. It is not that you cannot see the suffering of others. You are merely turning a blind eye to it. That's what makes the denizens of the city so vulnerable. Their own anguish is the most tangible. They believe it matters more than anyone else's. However, they know deep down that their belief is untrue. Such contradiction is what gives rise to the phenomenon known as the distortion. What is your point? Are you saying that you can see it? The pain the city is bearing? You can fathom all of it and figure out what's at the core of it. Is what you must look at, rather than merely fathom. <sighs> I knew it. So you were just playing with words. Sophists who speak in vague words and absurdities like that mostly end up dead. I love this line. Perchance there's some truth in what you said just now. After all, I would not be here if I did not face such a fate. I gave you the books, so I'm leaving now. One moment. I don't have anything more to say to you. Take these with you. What's this? These are black tea leaves, a recommended variant of mine. It has a good scent. Yeah, damn it. Alright, I'll take it for now. Thanks. Alright, so punishment. Uh, this is okay. This isn't too bad. 
you gain more power if you get hit. Or just on your first dice. Uh, punishing Beak, Librarian attacks deal bonus damage equal to the number of scenes that pass without the Librarian taking damage from attacks. I've never really been able to get this to work incredibly well, because like the game's just too RNG based. So, I usually don't try to take this. Small Flutters, Evade Dice gain with 1 to 2 power. Upon winning Clash using Evade Dice, the next offensive die gains a 1 to 2 power. Obviously, I love this. This goes really well with sturdy defense and like all of my defensive decks. So I really like using this. That's definitely something I prioritize. And that's all of our abnormalities. So let me switch. I guess let me equip uh, my floor because I want to go through some of the general invitations so we can now do Do I not have this? Oh my gosh, I don't have my defensive deck favorited. There we go. What do I have on him? Oh yeah, Alan's page. Alright. So we did two of them. But I think... Okay, so here's one. The Mirai Life Insurance. Oh, and they have more stuff for discard decks. Cool. They've got some pretty cool passives. Untransferable at the end of the scene, the character has 30% or less HP add a copy of the life insurance to hand. I don't think I've ever seen this played. So I'll go ahead and try to activate this. That's gonna be my goal for this fight. Cause this is just one floor, one act. I think I could make some pretty cool discard decks. Our work tends to be the same. That's right, I heard it was recently exalted to a star of the city. Strength things have been happening these days, it's such a hassle. Alright. Their dice stones seem to be very difficult to clash against. I really like how their weapon is just the briefcase, but there's like a weird, I don't know, it looks like a metal tongue. Like, what is that? Obviously, we've seen that uh, quite a few times so far. Like, Yuna had the guitar case that had like blades in it. And she was from Dawn Office. And then of course there was... Uh, Marina? From Kane Office.
Ooh, final stroke. Okay, that looks like a pretty painful card. Boost damage by plus one for each page. In hand, discard all pages from hand. So that'll add an extra four damage to all of this. Okay, but I actually don't want to clash with it because this should stagger. And that'll give strength. Now I need to... I actually really want to gain... my energy here. Stagger. Nice, two staggers. Our client wasn't lying after all. Always thought it was ready to go through this. Maybe we should go back for now and reorganize. It's okay for now. Keep your focus. We definitely needed backup. Yep, kind of too little, too late though, huh? I didn't even kill this one. So this fight's pretty easy. This is rather serious, isn't it? 
What is the purpose of this place? I don't... I got to save myself first and foremost. Just this one left. I want to get that effect to pop off. What's well, 30% of. I don't even know. I'm guessing a castigation will hit the threshold, though. Maybe? Still not using it. Okay. There's no way that is. Oh, here's a life insurance. So, mass individual, single use. On hit and flick. To disarm, bind, and feeble, recover 2 HP. That's terrible life insurance. What? Alright, I'll just auto play and finish it. Oh, it oh, the effect works for everyone. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool, actually. It's too bad the activation for it's kind of awful. Burn those books. And then we can read them. Amirai insures page. In this city, money has more value than anything. You need money to be able to start anything. Money is also required in case of unexpected events. An accident that will cost you a great deal of money could happen at any time. Insurance is useful for such cases. As long as the conditions are met, the payout will fill in for financial damage. Of course, not all accidents will fit the insurance bill perfectly. There are insurance plans for fixers, associations, and even wings. On top of secondary insurance, an insurer can take. It take a long while to list all the insurance that exists in the city. There is a wide range of carriers and plans to choose from, each fulfilling the needs of a different type of individual or group. You never know what danger awaits you. True, just like that time, I think it was Pimili got her uh, body bit off by a lion. And then they used insurance to make the clone body. So now here is Irina. Did you know? Many people whom insurance companies employ are those who have experience with detective work involving investigations and deduction. Since we deal with huge sums of money, there are more than a few cases where clients deliberately harm themselves or lie to us in an attempt to commit insurance fraud. A considerable number of calls we get actually aren't mere incidents. How do we tell apart a real accident from the fake ones then? Haha, <laughs> that's a business secret. Well, maybe a little hint. Oftentimes, something will be off about the way they act or talk. I told you that folks who used to do detective work frequently jump over to our industry, right? Those armchair fellows certainly have their wits. Their keen eyes will catch the signs hidden in even the most elaborate of disguises. They say the terms can be a little too particular, but I disagree. When handling that much money, it doesn't hurt to be thorough with inspecting and determining the validity of cases, right? If people started reaping insurance payouts for the smallest things, our business wouldn't survive. You'd be surprised to learn how many people in the city still cling to the idea of get-rich-quick schemes. That's pretty cool. I like the, I like the whole insurance stuff. Now let's see if we can find another. 
Okay, so this is one. We get a workshop. The wheat leaflet workshop. Ooh, and more smoke cards. Okay, these cards are kind of interesting. I actually really like this overflow effect. And you can deal even more damage. Oh man. Yep, I'm all good. Let's get to it. Let's see, did I make sure to fill it up? Our opponents seem good enough too. I've been itching for action for a while. This should do it. All right. Drew the two cards that can get me to 11 charge right away. What that guy used to boost his endurance there? Well, that's a pretty cool fact. Oh, he just gains one of these random effects at the start of the scene. Okay, I didn't even notice that. This is a pretty cool card. Lower cost of all pages in hand by one. Okay, so we got his passive to activate. He recovers all of his stagger resist one time after it dropped to zero.
See how much damage I can get this to do. I wonder if that'll actually just kill. Not bad. I'd hoped it wouldn't fail. I think that part needed a different component. Don't you worry, I have a feeling that the next trial will be a big success. Probably not. You know what? I actually think this has... That this has like a unique effect to it. So I'll let that play out. could just stagger him. <laughs> no. And the animations in this game are one of the reasons why I like this so much. So I don't think I'll kill him just yet. Oh no, was there an error in the assembly? I think we might see the animation. Hey, look at that. He just blows steam in your face. It's kind of messed up. Alright, now I'll autoplay and kill him. No, I was just about to exclaim Eureka. <laughs> Seems like a wacky dude. Workshop Fixers page. Leaflet Workshop, it's a good place. Offers serviceable weapons to fixers at a reasonable price and sells quality weapons to underground syndicates at higher prices. There's been cases of the opposite happening sometimes, but that's not what matters. Just want to emphasize that people from all walks of life, life visit our workshop. Oh, and I heard some workshops have membership clubs. The select few chosen by the workshop's owner are sent an invitation, or so I heard. Business would be much handier if we adopted the same system, as with everything else. Greeting guests is the one thing that's more dangerous than developing new weapons when you run a workshop. I kind of felt like just a bunch of random information. Okay. Now, Yay's page. 
A friend of mine who was trained in the same workshop as me told me about this place. It said some new tech was discovered recently. Something about tinkering with the mind to use it for your advantage. It's apparently more powerful than I can ever imagine. I'm honestly not very good at forming an impression of something when I just hear or read about it. So I told them I don't get it and then they said maybe going to the library would help. I've been researching this new and exciting technology lately, but they say they're too scared to head into the place even if there's vital information to be found. I weren't the kind of person to get physical, so I understand. Thus, I told my buddy that I'd visit that place for them once I'm finished developing this one thing. There's a new gadget to test anyway, and to witness a technology that's still obscure and hot off the presses? That just makes your, hot, your heart throb, doesn't it? That's an interesting design. It kind of reminds me of the Iron Brotherhood. Kind of like that face. Alright. Now... I kind of want to hold off until the next part for... These... So I think I'll do it. I don't have anything, any other abnormalities to fight. So I'll call it for this one. And I'll see you in the next part. Peace.